What's up everybody? In this video, we continue to work on the Donor Off-Road Lawn Mower. So, I've been thinking about the exhaust on this thing because I do want to put the hood back on this uh, for the off-road lawn mower. Um, the header that I made that was for the racing lawn mower, uh, with the hood on it, that's just not really going to work out well because, you know, it's going to be blowing all the inside of the hood and it's not going to be worth the crap. I don't want to cut it up and destroy it because if I ever have to use it again for something else, I would like to have it like that. But since this muffler here unscrews, I'll be able to run a, it's about four inches from the hood, so that's kind of perfect. Hey kitty. So I can get a pipe, run it up here, run it down through here, under here, and get this uh, four inch exhaust tube out of a Chevrolet Duramax. And, uh, Put that under there, it's like my muffler to have, give it a little bit of back pressure. And then I could buy like a one and a half or two inch uh, curve like this. I marked it right here where I need to cut. All right, so boom, got it cut, got it all clean. And I will be making it to where I can remove it if I have to later on down the road. All right, so I tried to test fit all the parts. Uh, and I swear, every little bitty thing wants to get in the way. I've routed the exhaust every way you can imagine. You know, as long as it's not right here and it doesn't look completely stupid and doing all like this. I, I tried everything, pretty much. And thinking of other parts. And it just will not work unless this piece is removed. I didn't want to get rid of the oil spout, but it looks like I'm going to have to. Well, why don't you route the exhaust on the other side? Well, that will require completely remaking the entire exhaust and trying to find another muffler to make the header and all that kind of crap where it bumps onto the motor. Uh, sorry, but that's not really an option. So since I took that out, I'm gonna go on and put in a new dipstick seal. All right, so I got it in there pretty good. This actually screws in, put a little bit of oil on it, run it in, and I'm gonna bolt that back on, and then uh, put the dipstick in. So just like other professional YouTubers, I will be doing a giveaway. So the first to comment, that cat's name will win a free use Briggs & Stratton dipstick seal. So next is a valve cover gasket. Ready? Boom! All right, so a little bit of transformation, but I got new parts and it took a lot of trial and error. So I got the pipe running up there, running down this pipe to a broken off Briggs & Stratton muffler with the centerpiece knocked out into this resonation chamber Duramax exhaust uh, four inch pipe and I bought this little piece here from advance and that's going to kind of well, roughly go in there and kind of look something like that. So I got my hole drilled out now and I was actually using a step bit here. Um, now I'm, I'm kind of using this because I am drilling through something thicker than what this is supposed to handle but it's all I had and it seemed to work all right. I could in fact actually put a muffler inside of a muffler. So basically this piece is gonna get welded onto that and this pipe's gonna stick through it. But I mean, check that out. That came out almost absolutely perfectly. All right, so this looks absolutely awesome right here. Um, I'm probably gonna stop tonight or for right now on the exhaust about the side piece because, I don't know, that's just gonna really take a little bit to come in there because if I put it all the way out, this crap is way too close to the tire. Put it all the way in, it's taking up a lot of space. So, I don't know, I'm just gonna leave it off for now. I think that'll sound pretty cool open like that. All right, so it's the next day. Uh, there is supposedly a tornado in my area, as you can hear by the sirens, but uh, it'll be fine, and we're gonna be in this garage working on this lawnmower anyway. Yeah, you can see that. Doesn't look bad. If something does happen, I will be sure to film it if I can. All right, so despite the tornado and all that, because uh, they usually hype all this stuff up and it's really not that bad, 
but it's probably gonna be super bad since I said that. But uh, we're gonna be uh, wiring up the headlights. Holy crap, this thing just picked up the pace real quick. All right, I'm gonna close the door. So here's my headlight wires, and this is a little diagram right here, as you can see. So this wire here, the red one, that goes to your battery, and that has a diode on it. The orange one, this is for your headlights. So I'm gonna connect this wire up to the positive wire, which is the brown right there. I'm gonna correct, connect that up directly to that, and then run ground up to the switch. All right, so 10 minutes later. Voila, perfect sky. All right, here's my throttle pedal. Kind of ugly, kind of looks good-ish. So I'm gonna put a return spring there and somehow run my throttle cable to that. All right, so as you can see, got everything kind of mounted up. That's firmly now, spring is firmly. Um, this kind of travels way too far. Um, the throttle cable is not attached because I do have it right here and the thing's wrong with this one. This one's chafed and chunky, and this one came off with the little one-wheel drive go-kart. Um, so I'm gonna go in there and order another one of those. So while the throttle cable is coming, let's put in the new headlight switch. All right, so I kind of made a little mistake buying the switch because as you can see, it is actually a three position one. And when I say three position, I mean this. So to make my spaghetti look a little more neat, and just like that, all the wiring's pretty much tidied up. All right, throw cable came. So that's gonna go in there, kinda around that steering shaft to right there. So now I got some other linkage components. I'm gonna uh, put that there, put this in through it, and hook it all up, and hopefully it should work. All right, so we are making progress here. Got this cable hooked up. This took a little while to configure, but uh, it kinda works. Um, it is not currently attached over there. Since this is the off-road lawnmower, and I'm gonna be going over a lot of bumps and stuff, I'm kind of wanting to hook the governor back up, but set the governor to a higher RPM just a little bit because when you're going over bumps and crap, you can have a tendency to mash the throttle wide open and it could go extremely high. Also, if you're pulling stuff or going up hills, the governor would seem to work better for that. So for the meantime, I'm going to uh, keep the governor bypassed because I already got the, my throttle way to set up to hook up to it to bypass the governor. Um, I'm going to see how that is. And if I don't like it, I will hook the governor back up and tune it. All right, so I do have something kind of working. So I think the throttle on this thing is fine for now because uh, it took a lot of fabrication and frustration. Um, but next, I'm going to add this little piece right here. All right, so boom, cut it on there. Have it adjusted perfectly to where it pulls the maximum amount and not you know try to pull any further it is a little bit short throttle distance for my liking but we'll see how it plays all right so everything is pretty much good to go i'm gonna real quick swap the tires on the racing mower on the tires on that thing because these tires won't fit but we're gonna make them fit in the next video or i don't know some other video uh so i'm gonna do that real quick and we'll be able to kind of start it up and drive it around bam just like that, they are swapped. Again, I will add this extra piece, I don't know, probably in the next video or so, but for right now, that pipe is just straight open.
as you saw, it runs around and drives just fine. I don't know if you noticed, but the engine will idle and find when you stomp the throttle, thing wants to pop, spit, and sputter and go crazy. And I was really starting to get frustrated with the thing. Um, I found out, uh, since I put the crankcase vent on the fuel pump to be able to pump fuel right here, it wasn't allowing the crankcase to vent properly. And that pressure is wanting to come, wanting to come out somewhere. So it's gonna find any little spot. That's why it was blowing all out of there blowing a little bit of oil right there because I replaced the gaskets and I was about to lose my mind because like, I mean, new gaskets should not leak. And it was also blowing it through the valve seats, which was why the thing was smoking. So I unplugged this uh, with just a little bit of fuel left in the line and I, I cranked it up and the thing uh, went up to high RPM and it ran like a sewing machine then. So I might just say, screw this fuel system and put in a regular fuel tank here and then make that back part into a trunk. The battery is supposed to go right here, but I honestly kind of like the battery right here, so that's going to stay. The push button ignition works fine, the kill switch works fine, and the headlights do work. I did put the grill on or the hood on, hooked up my headlights, and they do work. And my charging system works nice as well. So that'll conclude the end of this video. So hope you like this video. If you did, click all the other buttons that YouTubers say to click. If you didn't like this video, click on thumbs down twice because two is better than one. That doesn't count for likes. And yeah, y'all should see me in the next part of the donor off-road lawnmower build.